Hey yo, what's up? It's your girl, Just For Work. I'm coming to you with some good Christian content. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to me. Also, hit that notification bell. Holla! Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Just For Work. I'm coming to you with the network video. Today is Tuesday. Sorry I was missing on Monday, but you know, I'm back again with Christ-centered content. Today, Jesus is the head of the church. That's today, every day, okay? We're coming from Ephesians 5 and 23. The scripture should pop up on the screen somewhere over here. Um, I just want you to take away from this scripture as well as the whole chapter. The chapter is bomb. So if you got time, go ahead and read. Um, Christ loves his church. That's so important for us to understand because when we understand that Christ loves us, he loved us first. So it is imperative that we as believers see that he loved us. He sacrificed his life for us so that we can be his bride without spot or blemish. That is so important for us to understand as believers. Another takeaway from the scripture is that we are the body of Christ. We are the bride of Christ. And so when we understand that, we know that we need to live in full submission of him, his commands. Okay? So yield your will to his will because he is the authority, head, master of your life. When you are the bride of Christ, the same way the wife submits to the husband and respects the husband, we are the bride of Christ. We have to live in full submission, respecting Christ and his rule over our life. It's so simple, yet so hard for us to get it. But if we love Jesus the way we say we do, we're going to want to honor him with our life, respect him, and live in full submission of him. Even when we don't want to, which is often, we can go back to the source. Jesus loved us, and there is nothing that we are suffering that would even compare to his suffering just so we could be united with him. So if he could suffer and endure the cross so that we could be with him, why not make the decisions to live our life in full submission of him in order to be that bride. I know it's hard, but we can't say that we love him and live in opposition of him and what he has stood for and died for. So why you're spending time with your family or whatever, 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 work, whatever. I know y'all busy, but Take a moment and think about, like, do a little self-evaluation, you know? Who's at the center of your life? Is Jesus the head of you, your life? Does his will supersede yours? If not, we got a problem. If he's not at the center or the focal of your life, we got a problem. If you're living in opposition of him, yet you say you love him, <laughs> we got a problem. Once again, Christ is the head of the church. All right, y'all. Stay safe. Stay saved. And I'll see y'all on Wednesday. Peace.